Now, this is a this well, this is a fly I'm going to be tying, and uh, basically it's a, a dynamite harry. Now, uh, dynamite harry was a fly I'd never heard of until it was it was a request. The dynamite harry is basically that there. I'll come in a bit closer. It's just basically the body and the wing is made up of a say in this case I'm using aero wing, uh, an olive aero wing and uh, just the base of a hackle. I'm a great fly and uh, it's one of these type of flies that just sits up and it's unusual but it, it works, really works. Now when they, they done the request, put it on YouTube, obviously I was tying some extra and I did one to, with, with the tail. And as you can see there are some Cote de Leon fibres uh, within that and now I mean it's going to work but it, it worked I felt uh, added to the fly and it worked the treat and uh, there were the speckling within the, the, the base of the body it gave it even more of a, a, a look, a natural look uh, you see it more when it's wet now I'm going to show you how to tie that now there, there's quite a few versions now there's a grey Great pattern as well, that's the olive one. Now, it's reasonably simple to tie. Hook choice is up to yourself. I personally like to, uh, uh, well, I use this one. This is a check nymph hook, it's not it's meant for nymphs obviously, but it's a medium wire hook. It's got a good, reasonable strength in it, it's got a nice point, it's got a nice shape, and it, to me, it suits this fly, and that's why I used it. Now, I've got them down to not so much that part of that one, but I've got right down to 22s so and you just reduce the fibre the amount of material you're going to use for the wing and the, and the body and the fly or not the fly stay the same now thread I'm going to be using this is the uni 80 and all I've done to suit the colour of the fly you can wax the thread the start of the eye and we're coming to wind to the point of the hook before we get there just remove the waist now in line by the point of the hook, meaning that if I let the thread go, it should line touches the point. Now for the the tail I'm using, now this is the real the real deal as they say, the Cote de Leon. Now this is a nice speckle you get, but this is a light pardo type colour. Now the tail fibres you need about six or so, I like. So you just bring them out. Tear them away. Just obviously making sure the tips are lined up. Now I'm looking for a tail length, twice the hook length. So that part there will be half of it will be over the uh, the back for the tail, and then the, the the second part would be part of the body. So it blends within the actual uh, arrowing. So we catch that on the top there with a turn. Come underneath with a turn, pull towards the head. The eye just basically flares the, fi the fibres a wee bit better, and then we can then tie on top, trim away. They trim the waist halfway up on the area you've put the thread because that's where you're going to put the wing. So we wind to that point there. Now, for the wing and the body, I'm using this colour here. So it's a I believe this is a golden olive. I threw, I threw away the card, um, but I'm 90% sure it was number 15. This one down here, just my finger, and there's uh, the golden olive. Now, what I'll do is take off a length. I'm just going to fold it in half now. It's all, because it's on a card, you've got all these bends on it. Now, a wee bit of heat will take them out. But what I'm going to do first is just fold it in half. And trim, and then I'm just going to brush it through. I'm use a use a an old toothbrush, no, not an old one, it's just a, a cheap one. Cut down to stiffen the fibres up, and I just brush it on my leg, which you can't see me do. Once I brush it together, you can still see there's a bit of fibre twisted there. But if we roll it within my fingers, it, it just basically brings it together, and that's how I prepare. The arrow wing for the tying in. Just going to line up the ends first. 
we tie this forward. Now, it's not cheap, this material, so I try and not put as much on as I, I need at least an inch tied forward. So, as I say, make sure you match your thread. So an inch or so tied forward. You want a good five or six turns or so on the top. Now what I'm going to do here is open out the arrow wing and I'm going to trim it. So I am at an angle or a tapered cut to the middle of the, the tail. Just about there. To get the body. You could make it heavier if you want. I don't like it too heavy. I prefer it just quite light like this. And it does blend in with the the aero, uh, the, sorry, the the cock de leon fibres. You'll see that but that nice blend. It is an unusual fly, so uh, it's, you're going to scratch your head with it, but you once you start to fish it you'll see the benefits. Now this is just a, uh, a squirrel dub uh, in yellow. It's a, it's, a, it's a kind of yellow olive type colour. This is a, a, a yellow. It's a natural squirrel dub been dyed so you get it, it's quite dark. So I'm just going to tidy up this area here. And lift the wing. A few turns in front just to lift it up. And then the hackle. The hackle is this here. This is a pro grade saddle I've got. Now if you see the colour it's an amazing colour, it's called Gold Straw. Now, it, if you look at it, it looks like very jungle crop like. Uh, the colour, I'd love to know what it is, but uh, this colour is really nice. And it, it works with this fly. So, we've got the saddle hackle here. It's going to bear some of the stem. Again, mark your thread, just a wee touch. Catch in front. And I'm just going to wind up towards the wing, and then I'm going to basically post, post the wing and hackle together. So just basically bring it, or make sure, as I say, make sure you watch your thread because that gives you the grip. And then you just wind or post the wing and the hackle together, and come up about enough that you would be able to wind down about three to four times. So what well, we go about a mill and a bit or so, come back down. Get my thread right to it up against the wing, a couple of turns. And then we're going to wind our hackle, so there's my first turn. Just hold the wing as we come round and swap hands as we go, there's come into the second. And then into the fourth turn there. Now what I'm going to do is just lift the hackle fibres up. And I'm going to catch the hackle in really tight against the wing. Now just with a turn you can really tighten. Once you get a turn on there, you can tighten onto it, pull it tight. Oops, got some fibres. It looks a bit rough at this point, but we can tidy up. You've got to really get in there to tidy or trim away and tie in your hackle. Got any fibres? Just check. I'm never too fussy about this because once it, you start to cast, it all comes together. Got some more of the dubbing here, just a tiny bit. Just slide it up, just to tidy the front up. So I usually take, come up towards the, the hackle, come back down, they don't put too much on. Bring your thread to the, the eye, to we touch of varnish on it. And then we're going to work finish. So just get so the fibres out of the way. One, two, three, four. Trim that away. We're going to Bring everything back, because we've all pulled it forward, just to get it out of the way. Bring your hackle forward, where it should be. Just press it on the top. Let's check our fibres, see what we did. There we are. And then what we're going to do is just trim it at the back. So we just roll these arrow wing fibres together, with your fingers. Come to the back of the hook, put a slight angle cut. So the angle's cutting away from the hook. So we didn't lose much there. Uh, we didn't get much of an angle there but I'm going to just trim it at the back a wee bit just to make it look a wee bit more wing-like. 
There you go. Don't want it too short. You want to be able to see it. It's the idea of the fly. Uh, if I hadn't seen this, why I put it on. So you would be able to see it. And there we are. It looks... It doesn't look great as a fly, but it works. So you've really got to try them. It's certainly worth having a few in your box. If you need a fly that sits high and you can see it, this is certainly one I would certainly recommend. So there we are. That's the Dynamite Harry with the tail. And uh, colours, as I said, that you, I mean, just think of your normal patterns, tighten the style, just the colour combinations, and you'll not go far wrong. Size as well, could be bigger, could be smaller, and you, you certainly catch. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you enjoyed the videos again, uh, please subscribe, uh, that does help. And thank you for watching. <laughs>